Since we've been on the topic of stealing content lately, let's talk about animation meme compilations. I got inspired to do this video by a post on Twitter from Passaween, which we'll talk about later on in this video. Since I previously talked about animation memes and cringe compilations, I feel like this video will be a perfect addition to the saga. And to be honest, it hasn't been talked about enough. So sit back, grab a snack, and let's talk about animation meme compilations. I know a lot of you guys are already familiar with the term animation memes, but just in case if you don't know what they are, an animation meme is a recent trend that involves a character, which can be anything from a dog to a human, usually they're dancing to music. Animation memes commonly have a character doing a variety of different facial expressions and poses. These videos have brought a variety of different animators massive success. Over the past few years, the community has grown and branched off into several different subgenres, like the ranting and compilation community. The compilation genre is mixed with cringe and regular compilations. Cringe compilations were apparently there to give criticism to animators who were just starting out. I go more in depth about cringe compilations in my Let's Talk About Cringe Compers video. It is one of my older videos, but I'll see a link in the description if you're interested. Animation meme compilations follow the same formula as cringe compilations, but without the commentary aspect that most of them have. At first glance, everything we talked about seems pretty tame and harmless, but if you look at these compilations closer, there's a series of troubling issues. A big issue I find with these videos is the quality of them. A person downloads random animation memes and throws them together, and BAM! You get these compilations. It's just very lackluster content that doesn't serve a purpose at all. This is a common trait that they share with cringe compilations. But not to defend cringe compilations, at least they add some commentary, I would say like 8% of the time. You can watch these videos by yourself and support the original creator at the same time. It's much better than giving some random ass person views when they really didn't do any hard work at all. Speaking of views, views is another issue. These compilations get massive amount of views. I even seen several of them up in the millions, which is kinda crazy if you think about it. These views are going to channels who didn't make the original animations, Rather just slap them together on a program like Movie Maker or iMovie. You're giving the publicity to the wrong person, and a good portion of these animators need and deserve the views. A lot of the time, animation memes are targeted for demonetization due to using popular music or other issues, because we all know that YouTube is a broken mess sometimes. A lot of these animators rely on these views to earn things like sponsorships, donations, etc. so they can keep on running their shows. Because trust me, being an artist is a pretty expensive hobby. These compers are taking that away from them, which really isn't good at all. Another issue is with money. I'm not entirely sure if these creators are making money off of these compilations, but if they are, it's a big issue. A lot of time on videos you see people copy and paste a fair use law, which states, Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act, 1976. Allowances made for the fair use for purposes such as criticism, commenting, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by the copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. This law helps you if you're using someone else's content for the reasons listed above. When I was going through some of these compilations, I noticed this law commonly pop up in the beginning of videos or pasted in the description boxes. This law won't help out any compilation makers. You're not commenting on any of the videos nor giving constructive criticism, and I highly doubt these videos are intended for educational purposes. So this law pretty much does jack shit for you. Technically, if you're an animator and you're in one of these compilations and upload a request permission to upload the video using your content, you can file a copyright complaint because they're unfairly using your content. So maybe if you're one of these compers, you should try changing your practice a bit. A smaller issue is with crediting. As you know, there's been slight controversy when it comes to crediting people properly lately. And that's no different here. While I was on this journey, I found that most people did actually credit the animators by linking their channels or the animation meme that was in the video in the description box. I do find that good, but I personally believe you should still ask for permission first. 
because some animators really don't like the idea of these comps. Then, with a few videos, I saw little to no crediting of the artists. A lot of these people use the phrase, I don't own any content in the video. I just feel like that adds to the laziness of the video. If you're using someone else's content, show them respect by linking any social medias and etc. I do want to briefly mention what Pasolvine was talking about in their original tweet. They end up clicking on this FNAF animation meme video and come to find out it was one of these animation meme populations, which they found weird. This pretty much means that people are disguising these videos as normal animation meme videos, which is kind of weird. I mean, if you do look at the thumbnail more closely, the video is 12 minutes long when animation memes are usually around a few seconds to a minute long, so you might figure out something is up. So why are people disguising their content? I never really came up with a reason why they're doing this. I'm, I'm just guessing it's for more views because what else could it probably be? Technically, these compilations aren't fully bad. I know throughout this video, I have been making them appear in a more negative light. There's a few things that are redeemable qualities, I would say, but it just depends on how you look at it. I like to try being optimistic when it comes to talking about something like this, because there's always another side to things that you really need to consider. One of the more positive things that I could think of is guiding people to underrated artists. Like I said before, these compilations get massive amount of views. Also, there is a variety of different versions of these compilations. One of them is called Underrated Animators. I guess in this way, people can see different animators and might check them out. But then again, does that really out stealing someone's content? Now it's time to give my final thoughts. Do I think animation meme compilations are bad? Yeah, I really do. I know there is good intention behind these compilations, but they really do harm animators in the end. They really don't serve a purpose at all, and these compers could be doing so much more with their content than this. Like, creating their own animations. And that's how I view it. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Before I end this video, I want to thank you all so much for 10,000 subscribers. This is absolutely amazing. I never thought that I would make it to this milestone, and I'm really excited for the future of this channel. I hope soon to even do a tablet giveaway. I also want to briefly talk about the speed paint portion of this video. I announced in my community tab that I wanted to actually start drawing your guys' OCs in the background of my videos. I was originally going to turn this into a series, but I kind of decided against it due to some reasons. So I have an email in the description where you can submit your OCs to possibly get drawn in my videos. This OC is by the Angry Cat. She sent it to me. Thank you so much. I really love your OC. And this OC's name is Shika. I'm probably not pronouncing that right, but thank you so much once again, Angry Cat, for letting me draw your OC. She's very beautiful. Anyways, that's all for this video, and goodbye, guys.